Hello everyone, this is Vijesh Kamani and in this video I am going to talk about hardware development life cycle and product development life cycle. So generally people are aware about SDLC, software development life cycle. The same way there is a HDLC which is a hardware development life cycle and generally for any electronics product or any IoT product, uh, HDLC life cycle is a development life cycle that comes into throughout the development. So in this video, we're going to talk about how and what is the HDLC life cycle, what are the timeline, a ballpark timeline involved in each phases, and what will be the deliverables after completion of the each phases. So as you can see that before starting even a phase one to phase five of the hardware development life cycle, idea inception is need to be done and the idea and the product visioning need to be done so those are the couple of exercise that needed to be performed before starting the phase one to phase five of the development so considering that the product visioning and uh, product planning and things like that is already done then we move forward with the phase one of the development so generally for any hardware based product or any iot product Phase 1 is called as an MVP, Minimum Viable Product Development. And uh, in this phase, it's some, something where we build an initial level of prototype, something which can be you know, shown to the end customer or might be to the investor or something to prove your concept, something which can prove your uh, feasibility study. So phase 1 is an MVP prototype where the ballpark timeline is between 1 to 2 months and uh, which can be done with using the ready-made boards and solution so generally in this phase what we do is uh, we take a couple of ready-made uh, product solutions like arduino or maybe raspberry pi or beagle one black or something some ready-made uh, boards uh, do customize with the sensors and required things and uh, basic uh, prototype building with enclosure and Generally, the delivery is a very initial level of prototype, which would be bigger in the size, not as actual to the product uh, plant size. But this is something which can be built very fast in a month or two, and the development cost would be lesser as well. So through this, uh, which can be used as uh, showing to the investor or a potential customer and to get a feedback, before starting the complete development of the product. So phase one helps a lot uh, in terms of uh, getting the whole product development plan to get failed because when you start the actual product development, which is a phase two, which is the actual functional prototype development, which is generally a longer timeline where we build a custom PCB and hardware and everything. And uh, after all those uh, efforts, if we see that the product is not really useful or need a huge amount of change, then the whole development time and cost would be, you know, getting filled. So to make sure that what we build is correct and in right direction, phase one can help a lot where we build the MVP prototype. And uh, it might have an MVP hardware, MVP software, MVP mobile app, everything and an initial level of prototype can be achieved after phase one so after completing phase one we can move forward with the phase two which is the actual functional prototype development so after phase one we have the complete product specification requirement hrs srs and all the required document can be you know uh, getting after completion of the phase one so phase two we have the more clarity on uh, how to move forward for the actual product development so in phase two, what are the activity generally performed are customized hardware uh, board designing, so PCB designing, PCB layout, and uh, firmware development. Apart from that, there's a mechanical uh, kit designing and uh, actual uh, 3D printing and things like that. So in this, we do all this development, then go for the PCB fabrication and uh, component procurement and assembly and building a first level of initial prototype of electronics and as well as the 3D uh, printed uh, mechanical as well, assemble the whole, whole system and we achieve a final initial level of uh, functional prototype. So this functional prototype would have almost all the functionality covered and uh, there will 
be a lot of enhancement which can be done in the initial functional prototype that can be done in phase three. So phase two ballpark timeline for a general general ballpark timeline for uh, IOD or electronics product would be around four to six months. And once after finishing that, we can move forward with the phase three. So phase three is generally considered as a performance prototype and a certification. So in phase three, deliverables would be a certified prototype and a certification process is done in this phase. So uh, generally there will be a couple of changes in hardware or firmware need to be done or maybe on the other interfaces or on the mechanical side as well, the changes need to be performed. So ballpark timeline for phase three is about two months because there's a lot of dependency with the certification body as well. And uh, certification are considered as a CE, FCC, UL, ROHS and uh, maybe other required uh, based on uh, product to product. So those kind of activities need to be done in phase three. So at the end, finishing the phase three, we have a complete product uh, which is functional, uh, which is tested with the performance and which is tested with the certification and we got a certification as well at the end of phase three. So we understand, understood about phase one, phase two and phase three and then uh, after that, there's a phase four as well. So phase four is your uh, product beta uh, production test run. So generally in phase four, we produce a couple of uh, unit of the product uh, which is something which we send to our initial potential customers and get the feedback. So if there is any minor change need to be done before mass production, so that can be done in phase four. And once the phase four is done, uh, we can move forward with the phase five, which is a mass production. So phase four is something which is a production prototype, which is a beta prototype. And the timeline is around one to two months. And the deliverables would be, you know, final uh, product which can go in the production and phase five is, uh, you know, your production. So that's a continuous timeline. So this is a, just a ballpark, ballpark, uh, you know, timeline that is provided. This is a general timeline for the general IOD and electronics product. And this might be uh, very based on, uh, you know, product to product. Uh, and if we talk about the number of units that's uh, going to be produced, so in phase one, it's an MVP prototype. So of course, there is a one or two units of prototype will be built on phase two, which is a functional prototype. So generally 10 to 20 units we generally produce in the phase two. Phase three is a certification and performance prototype. So minimum quantity uh, recommended is about 20 units because uh, there's a lot of uh, stress test uh, going to be performed and might be few prototype get damaged as well. And uh, phase four is a beta production test run. So that's about uh, 100 units and phase five can start from, uh, uh, you know, customers need generally like for IOD or the hardware product, it starts from 500 or 1000 units uh, of the production. So this is a general, general uh, ballpark idea about uh, HDLC lifecycle, hardware development lifecycle for any hardware or the IoT product development. Hope uh, this video would be quite useful. Thank you.